form of a leaf. Here are a few tips before we go further as these will help you to draw with confidence. Keep in mind as with the exploration of tools earlier the following points. Draw with as much of a continuous line as you can at least up to a following the curve of a leaf as much as you can. You should try not to have a broken curve line. Maybe at first you can lightly draw several forms or contour lines. Once you get the feel right, overdraw firmly in a continuous line to get the shape right. In fact, overdrawing over several light strokes before the main contour line begins to take shape is a good way to get the curves right. Try not to use an eraser. With each overdrawn contour line, you will get closer to the actual form of the leaf. Experiment with varying pressure of your hand, roll or twist the pencil at your wrist. You have explored the leaves in the line form, mainly emphasizing their size and shape or in other words their contours. These were drawn as quick sketches. We will now learn how to draw the leaves as a careful visual representation. Keep the leaves at an arm's length and look at them. See and study them. This time observe the space around the leaves as well. Broadly there are two distinct space in a drawing. The space of the subject mass or the positive space and the space around the subject mass or the negative space. Place an imaginary reference frame around the subject. The line drawing of the subject mass differentiates it from the negative space. This gives you the basic contour drawing. Use a pencil for this drawing. The pencil is also a ready measurement guide that can help you in getting the proportions right. Hold the pencil upright at an arm's length in front of the leaf. Lightly close one eye. Take a measure of the overall height of the subject. Draw a freehand line lightly onto the paper of this measure. Again, hold the pencil transverse at same distance in front of the leaves. This time, take measure of the width of the subject. Similarly, the leaf sizing can be judged in other directions as well. This could be a straight point of getting the sizing right. However, more than an accurate size, what is important is the overall character of the leaves, the curves of its forms, placement 
and proportion. Your hand should move loosely when you draw the leaves.